Hello everyone, it's my pleasure to share with you my recent textbook, Data-Driven Methods for Dynamic Systems, which will now be published by Siam. Now this book is now available and the links are in the description. And what I want to do here is just tell you a little bit about the topics that are covered in this book and how you can interact with it example by example, coding along. Really what I'm interested in here is the interface between computational methods primarily focusing on data science and old school pencil and paper dynamical system techniques for model analysis. Now I really elucidate this with the first chapter here where you can see that there's a little bit of an overview between old and new aspects of dynamical systems and most of this is sort of fleshed out in this section 1.3 on proper orthogonal decomposition, which in my opinion is one of the foundational methods in computational mathematics that sort of lies at the intersection of very old basis expansion, etc., and relatively new numerical linear algebra, the SVD, all of these kind of things that are sort of pushing the way forward in computational mathematics. Now, as you progress through this book, you'll see that we spend a lot of time talking about dynamic mode decomposition and its variants. This includes things like time delay dynamic mode decomposition, um, sliding window de dynamic mode decomposition, kernel dynamic mode decomposition, and in particular, its relationship to the Koopman operator. Now, once we move beyond linear models, that's the dynamic mode decomposition aspect, we're going to start looking at nonlinear model identification. In particular, this book focuses on the CINDY method, sparse identification of nonlinear dynamics. Now, all of section three is really sort of dedicated to fleshing out a lot of the ideas behind CINDY, applying them to a whole bunch of different examples, and sort of looking at the nuances in its application, the choices that you need to make in order to apply this method. In chapter four, this is a subject that's sort of near and dear to my heart. It's very, very near to my own research. And this is polynomial optimization. So one of the things that we focus on here is how to find, say, Lyapunov functions from data. Another very interesting thing that we look at is bounding time averages of chaotic systems, as well as identifying invariant measures. So doing ergodic theory directly at the level of data. In chapter five, we begin our transition into neural networks. And here we have a sort of general introduction to the foundational ideas behind neural networks. That is universal function approximation. And then we progressively build ourselves up by learning sort of simple applications of neural networks, sort of black box forecasters, and then getting towards physics informed neural networks, pins. In chapter six, we have one of my favorite chapters here, and this is another extension of neural networks, but this is to autoencoder neural networks as they're applied to dynamical systems. In particular, what I elucidate in this section is that these autoencoder neural networks should really be thought of as numerical versions of topological conjugacies, a very old topic in dynamical systems theory and topology. And what I do in this is I walk through a number of places where we use topological conjugacies and we show how we can find that transformation of variable, that change of coordinates using a neural network, seeding it with the data in order to better understand the systems that we have, as well as discover new systems. Now in the appendices, you'll find all of the sort of supplementary material that can help you along here. I'll start with section uh, appendix B here. This is the singular value decomposition, the sort of weapon of choice for a data scientist, one of the pioneering and premier methods. It is still very, very powerful. Uh, so here we're in this appendix, we're going to just talk about sort of everything related to it on the mathematical level because it's used throughout the text. Similarly, we talk about mathematical programming, and this comes into the polynomial optimization chapter where there is a lot of semi-definite programming. So this is not meant to be a full overview for you, just a um, introduction to a very large and very complicated subject. Now, the thing that you'll notice here in Appendix A is a directory of all the accompanying scripts and notebooks that go with this textbook. And that's something that I'm going to talk about in a moment. But what I want you to see here is what you can expect out of the book. 
What you can expect are illustrations, all of which were created by me, and accompanying examples for all of the methods that are presented. In particular, what you're getting is an example-driven uh, demonstration of all of the techniques. What I do is I motivate the problem, I bring in a data scientific technique, and then we apply that in an example-driven way in order to see the nuances and the complexities of the application. When it works, when it might not work as well, what the output looks like, as you can see with this example right here where we're plotting the spectrum of kernel dynamic mode decomposition, and some of the shortcomings of these methods and how to overcome them with some of the later methods that might show up in the book. Accompanying this is a full GitHub repository that contains scripts and notebooks to reproduce every single example that you can find in the book. They are all written and fully documented in such a way that you can hit run and reproduce every example. In my opinion, this is the best way to engage with the material, is to follow along and run these scripts yourself. And then, once you have a handle on the methods, take these scripts and lift them over to your own problem. And have a little bit of fun. Find something new and try and apply these techniques to different systems, to different data sets, and see what you can uncover. Now, over the next few videos, I'm going to be introducing all of the topics that are covered in this book in a lecture style series where we go through section by section, talking about the methods, introducing the examples, and coding along. So I hope that you'll join me on this, and I look forward to seeing you.